Oh, the loot hoarder. Loot hoarder construction. Fly. We need to set up huge combos against Priest, don't we? They're gonna have lots of board control and get to a very high health total. So we need to get the huge pyro sleep. We need to get flaming fish. Pyromancer fishes that sleep. I want to destroy his minion because I don't want him to be able to coin Talon Priest. He kept three cards, so it's very likely that he can coin out the Talon Priest. And I value this weapon so much that I'm going to get rid of it. I want to save my cards to combo with Acolyte to draw. And Wild Pyromancer and what do you want? We need a big Wild Pyromancer turn, so we gotta save a lot. There's no way he's running into him, he's playing Dragon Priest. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Never in tomb, please. No tomb. It's my nightmare. Uh oh. <laughs> we drew our bobs. Oh, the only bob left is Emperor. Okay, we gotta get a, a battle rage, man, to actually generate cards. And this acolyte needs to not get pained, right? Sick. Yeah, we played around that earlier, he had it in his opening hand. Alright, we got a wild shout. We gotta save spells for Pyro, but uh, the Shield Slam is gonna be very useless as we lose board. And that uh, Twilight Guardian could heal up to 9, so I didn't want to let it get start healing out of range. Because that could actually get out of range of our deck's damage. Patience is the key, guys. Patience is the key. We gotta clear it on turn 9, and then drop Cthulhu. We haven't hit very good card draw yet. We need to get a Battle Rage off. 10 damage on board. Okay, good heal. We're juicing it. Juicing it one more turn, hoping for the rage. If we hit Battle Rage in the back of this, it's gonna be sick. I mean, I get pretty good odds. Two draws. <laughs> Alright. The sweep! We got four spells. Is it fish in time? So we can go one, two, three, and that'll kill everything? That's probably good. We can save fishes for later. No battle rage with all this is so bad though, but we have the whole combo. But we missed all of our draw, man. Both Battle Rages, bottom 11. Second Acolyte's in there. Slam. Commanding Shout. Shield Block. Still 11 cards left on turn 10. That's insane.
We got Bran. One and eight. We were so patient too. We just never hit the battle rage. Both battle rages bottom eight. It's the most important draw card in the whole deck. We got time. We can set up a better battle rage, and we can also use these fishes in the turn that we do it. He's only got one death left, so one of the Cthulhu's should be good. Shit. <laughs> That's big. Okay, so then the sequence is Brand Doomcaller into Cthulhu into Cthulhu, hopefully. So we draw one, we go down to two cards, we add two cards, then draw another. So we got 50-50 of getting Cthulhu on the next turn. Assuming this doesn't get pained. He's got one pain left, he hasn't used any bookworms. We have 15 life, it's unlikely he puts out enough power to just kill us the turn after. You never know. Oh. Three cards that are not Cthulhu. What is this garbage? How does he have two Anixias? <laughs> he doesn't play Anixia and gets two Anixias. Come on! A high rolling son of a bitch. Why didn't you kill the brand? What are you doing? What? Is this real life? What are you doing? North American ladder, dude. <laughs> what are you doing?